If you've ever wondered why so many blockbuster films have that signature teal and orange look, you're not alone. It's one of the most widely used cinematic color grades and for good reason. These two colors sit opposite each other on the color wheel, creating natural color contrast that makes subjects pop. But there's another reason why this look works so well in film. Skin tones naturally fall into the orange spectrum, and since many shots in movies focus on people, it makes sense to contrast them with teal tones in the background or in the shadows. This allows us to create a cinematic feel with minimal effort. I talk about this and a lot more in my color grading masterclass, which will help you to become a color grading pro in Final Cut Pro in less than 90 minutes. Link down below. But the good news is it's easier to create the teal and orange color grade in Final Cut Pro than you might think. First, you want to make sure that you've done your base correction. In other words, you've converted from log to rec 709 if you're shooting in a log profile. You've also adjusted the brightness and contrast of your shot. It's at this point that we can start our creative color grade. I'll start by adding a color curves adjustment to my clip. What you might not know is that you can click on the down arrow here next to red and you can change this to any color you want. So I'll select a teal color. Note that orange is on the opposite end of the spectrum. On this next curve, I'm going to choose orange. On my teal curve, I create a point and raise the teal in the shadows. Then on the second curve, I'll introduce orange in the midtones and the highlights. If you feel like your shot needs it, you can lower the teal in the highlights a bit and lower the orange in the shadows. You don't want to go overboard though. I'm pushing things a little more than I normally would for the sake of showing you how effective these curves can be. Now lastly, and this is super important, you'll want to add a hue versus saturation curves adjustment. And on the luma versus saturation curve, I'll create a point around here and then I'll drop the saturation for all of the darkest parts of the shot. This essentially ensures that the darkest or blackest parts of the shot stay black. I'll zoom in here to this dark area, and as I adjust that curve, notice how the dark blue area returns to black. That just cleans up the image nicely. If you found this helpful, then my color grading masterclass is a must if you want to level up your color grading skills in Final Cut Pro. So I'll leave a link to that down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.